I am Kat Woods. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to share with you today what I have been doing for the past couple of months. Um, this isn't going to be like a, uh, a video to help guide you on anything in particular. I am literally just sharing what I personally have been doing for myself and um, my spiritual growth. Okay, so I have always uh, used multiple Bibles whenever it comes to study, like studying, um, reading. I, I just, I recently uploaded a video giving you all some tips on how to read your Bible. If you're struggling to read your Bible, um, all, all of that. I literally answered um, all the questions I could think. Oh no, Papa, don't, don't. He likes those butterflies and he wants to eat them. <laughs> so, um, I, I, so I'll go ahead and leave that video linked in the description box below and it also in the pinned comment. Logan, no, let's leave them alone, okay? You don't see them. They're not here. You don't see them. Occupy. Look, look outside. Here, I'll open up this window. And you can look outside. Even though it's cold, it's 40 degrees outside. Let mama freeze just so you can look outside. <laughs> All right, so um, right now, these have been my uh, daily drivers, my daily go-to Bibles. I have read this one since February, uh, and I've literally read it cover to cover. When I first went through it, and this is the Thomas Nelson, and it is in the single column format, and is it's the New King James translation. All right, I do have a review over this, so I'll make sure to leave that in the link um, description below and in the comments if I can remember to do that. Um, but if not, go ahead and ask me and then I'll do it. Anyways, so I read this one cover to cover and my first time reading it, I didn't mark in it. I just literally, my goal was to read the whole Bible in 30 days. And I did that. So I gave you all the tips in the other videos on how I did it, um, what I went through and had an idea about marking. Like say I was reading, here's an example right here. So say I was reading it and then there's a scripture that um, popped out to me. I was like, oh, I do want to come back. I want to um, journal about it. Maybe there's a word that really st stood out to me. I'll leave one of these little markers here. So I have all these markers in the back right here and I just sprinkled them throughout the Bible. So when I come to that page, I'll know exactly what verse caught my attention at that time. So highly recommend doing that. Um, but right now I have been marking in this Bible reading, highlighting. So I'm going right back from Genesis. I am skipping around. So I'm going from Genesis um, to the New Testament. I have started Psalms too. So now I'm picking up three different books that I'm just, I'm just enjoying and really soaking up. Uh, let, let me go ahead and show you that part first. So we're just going to dive into, it's kind of like a flip through is what I'm really doing here. It's just a flip through of this Bible. So at the very beginning, these little pages right here, never ever rip them because they are meant supposed they're supposed to be like this they're literally supposed to be it is the edge line paper so it kind of just halfway glued do not rip them i went ahead and just decorated it i put i love book and then every time i finish this whole bible cover to cover i'm going to mark down the day that i did it oh i started in january i thought i started out in february anyways so that's what i did i marked it then I got this little um, quote, it's a tribute to the Bible on why I read the Bible, how I read the Bible, all of that. A couple of verses and quotes here, another little quote here, and then the presentation page. I do love having these blooming butterflies and flowers in my Bible. This was the same thing. I got a couple of mirror butterflies here. They need to be wiped down and washed down a little bit. <laughs> just anything that really just makes me happy. I just, I stuck it in here. Um, this one needs to be taped down. All right, this is the beginning. I have a, I just collaged over here, you could say. Added a little quote over here. And then I start my journey. I go through, there's, um, it kind of is like a system, but not really. I marked up, and I used my mild highlighters. I marked up the word God. You can kind of just see, just from like looking at a glance on what I did. 
I'm literally journaling. So whatever I think about, um, reflect, whatever note, whatever just sticks out to me. Sometimes I'll just write down another verse. Right here, I have posted it a couple of times on Instagram and Facebook. And everyone was like, what's with the ants, cat? I had... <laughs> I have never ever really sat and thought about um, when the verse talks about the creepy crawlies. God created the creepy crawlies. So I've always seen them in a different light up until last year. I really started, you know, paying attention to the creepy crawlies that God makes too. He just doesn't make the butterflies. He doesn't make only the beautiful stuff, even the weird, gross looking things. So I started to put them in my Bible just as a personal reminder to me. Here, you can see those arrows. These are special verses that I wanted to remember at the time. So I went ahead and put those down there. I try to separate. I don't have a system when it comes to like the um, blue and the black pen. I just separate the, the notes. So this study note will be over whatever verse I have highlighted there. I do have the verses. So this is one note. This is a different note. It's just literally separating them. Um, a lot of the times, not at the beginning, but throughout the later on throughout this chapter, I will put my prayers here in the middle and they're only blue. So why I did that, I don't know, but I started to doing that. I will start all the notes in black, as you could tell. That's just another thing. I don't know if it's like an OCD thing that happens, but I just I always start it out in black and then just go from blue on. So I don't know if that's something that would help you all. This word really stood out to me, so I highlighted it, and I did a cup, a little journaling over it to like remind myself what it was. Some pages are really done up a lot. Other pages, there's not so much to write about. This is where I started to bring other elements. There's those cute little ants. See, and now they're cute. They've always were weird to me. I will never get over spiders. I don't, there's, yeah, me and spiders just don't get it. But the little ants, they're cute. But this is where I start adding actual decorations and stickers. You will start to see this style of um, creativity start to bloom a little bit more. Again, I'm keeping up with these arrows. And, it's, and I also found you can write more and fit more on a page when you turn over the Bible. I like that look anyways. It's different. I do that for my prayers, but a lot of my study notes, I just go directly up and down. Here I'm adding a little bit of washi tape. I'm starting to add a little bit more stickers and colors to the paper. These are rub-ons right here and I love them. I got them at the dollar store for a dollar. It's like a whole sheet of them and they're so amazing. People always ask me, where do you get your stickers and stuff from? And it's always the same. I get them from Michaels, Walmart, the dollar store. Don't ever think you can't find nothing at the dollar store. Um, I used to get a lot of stuff from Joann's, but as of the past two years, I haven't. I haven't really got anything from Joann's. So it's just the Michaels, Walmart, um, Amazon. If I shop online, Amazon's the only place I go. Like, or get online. Now this right here was an experiment. Um, this is actually gold ink. I don't know if you can really tell that. That's literally gold ink. Um, the first initial, the green leaves is... I don't know, let me get you in closer here. It's Prismacolor color pencils. So I had a stencil and I just literally colored on um, the stencil. It took, oh, like three hours to do this, to do both pages. And I wish I would not have tried this gold thing. In my head, it was a good idea. So this was a stamp for, from Well With My, Well With My Soul, where, Well With, it's it's a devotional it's like my only devotional that i've done um like kit on my channel it's from that and it's like the psalms one. Oh, i wish i remembered what it was but anyways getting off track it was that stamp and it was it's a music note you can't really tell from looking at it you kind of can see like the little lines but you can't really see the music notes so i kind of messed up this whole page just from trying to play around and experiment this one turned out good you can see this one but so 
you know, you're going to have those pages where you kind of start out and then you do too much and it just messes it up, but it's okay. You just continue to go on and you learn. You'll definitely have those pages where you just don't like it. It just, it happens. Uh, I like to use just regular little cards if I have more. This is more of a prayer. It could be an added prayer or just there was a prayer that I wanted to, re, you know, use and it was going to be too much to write down. I'll just stick it on like a little piece of paper. That was like a little journaling card. This is literally a vintage die cut that I got from an antique store. So beautiful. I got a pack of them for like $12 and there was like seven of them. These are little vellum stickers, so they're like clear. And then this is a little envelope, again, with one of those little cards in it, with more information about what I'm reading about. But instead of just leaving it, I could have left it just here and it would have fit with a theme um, that I have going on. But I just love this envelope. It was so cute. So I wanted to use it. And I just stuck it in here. So that's the best way I could tell you girls if you want to get encouraged. And as you can tell, this isn't a journaling Bible. This isn't a wide margin Bible. This is literally a personal size, regular Bible. And it's not stopping me from being creative. It's not stopping me from taking a lot of notes. You just have to improvise. You have to write super tiny um, and use things. These are stickers. But they don't cover up the words. I can lift up and move everything. I mean, if you don't mind covering up the words, you can. So it just it's it's all a perform a personal preference. Now, like right here, this is a sticker. It is covering a couple of words. But like I said, I already read this Bible cover to cover. Um, right now, I am using this one as my daily driver. So whatever kind of reading I do, I use this one. So this one right here is mainly just focused on taking notes um, and marking it up marking up that's literally the only focus so when I start so say I start like blank page like this I come through I read it I think about and reflect about what I just read I go through I do the markings that I want to take in I want to focus on God and I want to focus on being a disciple for him and I just those are the scriptures that I use or that I focus on and you can tell there's some pages that are not as in depth or as marked up as others. That's why. I love these vellum. These are little vellum stickers and they're from Amazon. Love those. This one is literally like a stamp. You can't really tell because it's white on white, but it's literally shaped like a stamp. Super, super, super cute. And I love doing these little collages. Just different little stamps and not stamps, stickers. So, so fun. All right. So that's the I'm on Genesis, what, going on 28, I think. Yeah. Genesis 28. Now we're going to come through Psalms. I've only done a couple of pages in Psalms. This is Psalms 1 my phone to focus oh it really took it out of focus there okay and I pre-decorated a couple of pages so I can come through and mark it up there's gonna be a lot of room when it comes to Psalms because look at all this space so I can either journal a lot here or there's more room for bigger stickers all right now we're gonna to go to the New Testament decorated the I guess the presentation page or the blank page I'm gonna add a little bit more here like maybe quotes in those circle like I'll deal like I like doing those circle verses they're so cute like I did at the beginning same thing with the new the New Testament like I do with the old just marking it up the same way and it's fun going back and forth um, I was trying to do it for all the way from cover you know Genesis to Revelations but I want to switch it up uh, and, and it's more um, refreshing almost. This is just a post-it note. It's 
literally more refreshing when you bounce back and forth. Now this was something new that I, I've tried. I wanted just to add a different paper, you know, a piece of paper to see what it would be like and feel like and just journal a little bit more. And it turned out really, 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 really cute. I don't know if I'll do more to this side or just leave it like that. I'm not sure. Here's a blank page and I think that's it. Yeah, that's all. I'm gonna use this one. I don't know how yet, but I have it stuck in there just to get ready for whenever I feel the need I want to do it. Um, I did Revelation too, but I just did like some study notes and stuff like that, writing. So I got Revelation, which is an amazing book to really sit and just dissect the whole scripture like every chapter literally go through and really focus on it everyone thinks it's a scary book but you all it's not it's super super amazing okay so that's what i've been doing um with marking and everything i have been keeping track not since january or anything just this month i previously pulled out my christian planner here and I've, the Christian planner, oh yeah, I have time. I was going to say, do I have time to show up? But I do. All right. So I'll just go ahead and give you a walkthrough of it. This will be the beginning. At the beginning, it will tell you um, how you can use your planner uh, the beginning of the year, or you can start it whenever you want to start it. I started mine in April, so I'm already four months in. Um, there's a weekly, uh, you'll see, layout and every day monthly goals all right this right here is the vision board so because the planner is purple of course I had to keep with that purple theme I love 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 purple so uh, I don't do my vision boards like how most people do them they put in like they want the nice houses uh, the big fancy cars they want a lot of money and they just cut up magazines not that there's anything wrong with that there's absolutely nothing wrong with that your vision board is to reflect you on what you want in your dreams and it's supposed to be something that way you look at you it's like a reminder it's a reminder to, to stay focused to stay inspired not to look at it and be like well I don't have these things I don't have the big car I don't or the big house and I don't have you know I, I just I see vision boards a little bit different than other people so this one here, I, I, my word, my life word is bloom. I love blooming. Anything to do with blooming, growing, growing spiritually, growing as a stronger woman, a better mother, a better wife, all of that. Just just growth in, um, in life, both spiritually and in regular. So I'm going to come back here and with those circle little um, words that I do, I keep saying circle, I don't know if you all remember this circle writing that I do I'm gonna call those something <laughs> I'm gonna end up filling up this whole page so I got the visual part already down I might come back and put some little glitter stuff here and there just to make it more of a little sparkly thing but and then I'll come back through and write the quotes down here we have like a bucket list so the first year um, the next five years and then your lifetime bucket list skydiving will be on that for sure and then this one is your healthy habit goals. So these are healthy habits that you're going to create for yourself. I have not filled that out. I haven't even looked at that yet. So I got to do that. And then this is yearly goals. You're supposed to write it down in here, but I just put I'm going to accept the challenge and then write them out on the side. So that's pretty, pretty cute. I love that. And then this is the 20 well 2020 and then 2021 uh, I may just cover this up and do something different with it because I really don't need these little um, calendars like that so this is my birthday month and I decorated it this is when like I'm gonna put down like big things I got my uh, new bedroom suit there I got my new birthday present so my new Bible there uh, this is obviously my birthday so I decorated that a little bit and then I just right in the middle put a bunch of things that just make me happy 
I wish they had a cat that I could put here, but the Happy Planner set, I used all my cats and I only had a dog left, so I was like, well, that's cute still. <laughs> here it says it's for weekly sermons. I don't go to church, so I'm going to block out this part right here. And I'm just going to reflect on either that day that I'm writing about the previous month or maybe that day or that week, I mean. So that's how I did this one. This was just off of um, that previous week because it says weekly. Then over here we have a whole blank page and we can sketch, we can write. I haven't filled that out because it was like the previous, so... I just stuck a couple of post-it notes that I can use throughout the planner. Then down below here we have actions. How can we improve our relationship with God? How can we, you know, improve your relationship with yourself and with others? Relationship with yourself is extremely important. We always think about how we can help other people, but how are you going to help other, other people if you're not even taking care of yourself first? So this is the first, or not the, yeah, the first week's layout. This is what the blank week will look like. It looks like this. This is what you're going to start out with. So we have the to-do. You could put the month. It's undated. You date it all. So whenever you start is when you start. We have weekly goals down here and your healthy habit tracker over here. This is all spiritual. So you, you keep track of your spiritual whatever you're doing. Um, there is a lot of little lines, so I was like, how am I exactly supposed to, oh yeah, and it is also, I keep stopping on the same one, it's also time, so there's daytime, and then the darker one is nighttime, so you see all these little lines, so that can be good, but it kind of like, I like it because I can write small, but for those of you that can't write small, it's, maybe you have to take up two lines, so you just write down every day what you're doing. Keep track of it. And I just do that by right now at the beginning, I was just doing different colors. Of course, trying out different pens. You can tell different pens are being brought in and just testing it all out. Down here, I wrote down, I kept track of my um, daily reading. So whatever I was reading that day, I'll put it down here. Same thing with over here, keeping track. I'm keeping track of my daily reading. My daily devotional is the Jesus Calling. I'm praying for myself, my husband, my children, and praying for my sisters. These are the days that I did my study notes. So the study notes in my Bible that I just shared. When I'm stopping, listening, and relaxing. And that's listening for God. And then when I'm doing my word of the year, which is disciple or discipleship. So was I a good disciple, you know, disciple for God or did I serve him as a, you know, anyways. Then this is going to be the weekly, oh, I haven't filled that out for last week. Oh, I still got to come back and do that. So this was, again, reflecting for last week. I better do that before I forget. Again, a blank space. You can sketch, you can quote, you can do whatever you want here. And then how you built your relationship with God, yourself, and others. And then this is this week. So this week obviously is a little bit different than last week because I was just getting used to the whole thing. Um, I love being creative. So of course I added washi tape. I have a little verse over here that I felt was super important for this week as a reminder for myself. I am now using the Pilot G text. They, um, no, the Pilot G2s. They're a thicker pen and they are metallic. So I like that metallic look. I like writing and using thicker pens and planners and in journals because I can't use them in my Bibles. I love them, but I can't use them in my Bible. So I like whenever I can pull those pens out and use them, I do it in here. So I just keep track of every day or every day, literally every day, but what I do. So I do my Jesus calling devotional. Um, what I've read through the morning right here, what I'm working on, and then nighttime, I keep track of the same thing. What I'm reading, this is what I read, and I also write down what Bible I'm using. So I just don't write, like right here, I just write down Bible study. 
I, I want to keep track of which Bible I'm using at that time so I can remind myself, hey, I've used this Bible for so long. I know myself, but maybe three years from now, coming back, I'd like to look back and be like, what Bible was I using at that time? It, it'll be cool to keep track of that. So there's a tip you guys can use. I was doing a video prep in the morning, a daily devotional. I prayed. I spent time with God. And then... I did, oh, I decorated my traveler's notebook, getting ready for my, um, no, I decorated a new travel log in my new Bible. So this thingy, I thought it said traveler's notebook. So I wrote down the day that I did this in my new Skylar Bible. So this is my traveler's, when I'm taking my Bible out, so this is my travel log. I was going to, I don't know why I filled up the whole page because I needed it for my log. So I have this right here. This is my little, I got my little butterfly here for a tab. So this is my tip in that I use for my travel log. As you can tell, I love these butterflies, but I wanted to kind of use it in a different way. So it's not just the flower. So now he's coming out of a little doily. So yeah, I wrote down when I did that, keeping track on how I'm being creative, trying to push myself, you know, to do something more. Maybe try to do some sketching because I haven't drawn in a long time. Just try to encourage myself to do more. This is what I did yesterday. I recorded my Thrive Review Bible. So just keeping track of literally what I am doing. I started the book of Leviticus and then I finished the book of Leviticus all in one reading last night <laughs> and then down here got my daily devotional again devotional daily reading praying praying for my family the ministry and then my sisters and then study notes same thing so all right that is it that's how and what I have been doing to keep track of my spiritual growth and my journey here it changes it I would like to say it changes all the time but sometimes little things change but not really dramatically if I find something that works I try to just I stick with it obviously because it works so if you have any tips and tricks that you have found that really work for you on your spiritual growth um, I would love to hear about it if you would leave it in the comments remember be a creative tool in our father's art box today I'll talk to you all later. Bye.